joining me again for another Pixie Talks review vlog. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. Well, it looks like we'll be starting 2014 off with a bang as far as awesome animated spectacles go. Everyone's in a buzz, and for good reason. I got to go see the Lego movie in theaters last week, and oh goody, I just can't wait to talk about it. Everything was awesome. Everything is cool. discuss with this movie. It absolutely blew me away, not even kidding. I had just a ton of fun going to see this in theaters, and my theater even had one of those stick your head through the hole and take a photo things. If you haven't seen it, I wholeheartedly advise you to go see it because it's some of the most fun I've had in a while. The story revolves around an evil bad guy named Lord Business who wants to glue the world together and the fight against him by the legendary Master Builders. Emmett, a regular construction worker, gets caught up in the middle of things when it is revealed that he is the special, the prophesied chosen one who can save everyone. And if that sounds like an incredibly forced, cheesy, and cliche plotline, you are right. And the movie knows it very well and pokes fun at itself at every turn. And that's one of the things that just make it such a joy to watch. It parodies itself most of the time and just lets the zany cast play out their roles in as colorful a fashion as possible. And that's pretty much all that I expected from the movie, and if that was all that it offered, it would have been a pretty neat, fun kids movie. But buckle down, because this film has layers like you would not believe. Under the surface of fun parody romp, this movie is actually a massive social commentary. And there are so many threads and ideas being woven into it that it will totally throw you for a loop if you aren't expecting them. Let's start with the fact that it portrays a society that has been so overrun by mindless consumer culture when it itself, on the surface, is as completely consumer driven as it could possibly get. Taking into consideration the already mentioned tired and overused plotline, plus the fact that it is a Lego movie. The irony is brilliant. It weaves in the idea of chaos versus order and add in an absolutely heart-wrenching emotional twist at the end about family and growing up. And through all of its interesting social commentary, it doesn't actually make statements so much as it poses questions. It puts out a thought and a conflict and then allows the viewer to engage with the idea and reach their own conclusions, so it never really felt like it was hammering you over the head with a message. Add to that some amazing visuals! Just look at this movie! This is everything you could ever ask for in a movie comprised of Lego pieces. It's so detailed, it looks like a hobbyist's master project, which is maybe a bit of foreshadowing. Now this is all done in CGI, made to look like stop motion, and my word, it totally looks like stop motion! They did an amazing job breathing life and personality into these inanimate objects, and yet still making it totally look like the toy you know and love. This is just all around a fantastic film, and there's something there for everyone. Kids will love it, and you will too. Awesome. Lost my job. That's a new opportunity. More free time for my awesome community. I feel more awesome than an awesome pop.